Hi, I'm Tom DeCam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Django, how to deploy Django extremely quickly with Vercel. It's extremely rapid, and that's deploying a full Django app, including how to deploy static files with your CI so that every time you push to GitHub, it will auto deploy. So, start off with this the Django Hello World template from Vercel. There's, there's the link. And click deploy. Choose, I'm going to call it Tiber. Call it whatever you want. This will create a new repo and click. And now we wait for it to deploy. And there we go, it's deployed. And so if we go here and click on it, we can actually see, yeah, you've, it's deployed already. Serverless functions are extremely fast and particularly with Vercel. Okay, now we've, we've got it in production. Now we want to get it in a local copy to edit in development. So here's the repo. This is what Vercel's set up. Pull that down and then clone it down. And there we are, it's in. And now open my editor. I use PyCharm. And now let's create a local environment to set it up for me. And make sure you go, uh, because we're gonna use Django, make sure you, uh, four point, these are the requirements, 4.1. Make sure you use something that's three, that's like a 3.9 or later. Yep, uh, so virtual environment, and then I'm gonna call it env. I'm going to use 3.10, open that, pop in. Now we're in the virtual environment. Now I can install. And there it is. Great. This is the, a slight bug in the Vercel repo. So you need to, uh, there's a misspelling. If you go to settings, application, and change that to app, it's referring, so the, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a type, that's an error in there. Set up, and then run it again, and then you can see. And if we go here, there we go. And this is expected, disallowed hosts. You're gonna to need to add this to our Django settings, our local uh, uh, path, if you like, browser path, add that, so that we can then see it locally and refresh. So there you go, you've deployed to production extremely fast with Vercel and any chain, any push you make to your GitHub repo will be automatically, automatically pushed to the Vercel to production and also adding a custom domain and everything else is very easy through the Vercel settings. But let's add a static file to demonstrate that as well. Add a, uh, to our app, we're gonna add a templates, we'll render some files so we can render some HTML and add an HTML file to an index. Let's add it, add it to our Git and then we'll add a view. We're gonna get rid of this response here and we're going to just install a uh, render a render that template and let's import the django helpers import render uh, no shortcuts not helpers there you go render mm. ah that's why i've misspelled template it's not template it's templates okay and now we get come back to index should be okay there we are. Okay, so templates. Now we want to add, we'll just add something saying hi there, or hello, hello galaxy. Okay, and then and we come back, see, yep, there we are. And now we're gonna make add in a static file. So, which it, you will obviously want to do to add JS or to add your uh, styling, so we're going to call add it the static, and then we're going to namespace it to add a another file, a directory with the name of the app in between. Not necessary, but good practice. And then we call it the CSS, and then we add a CSS file style sheet, and we'll call it index. That's fine. Add it to Git, yes. And then we could create a class. Let's just it's just to demonstrate, and let's say main text for class. And we we'll call it background of some interesting chartreuse. No, just call it color. Actually, what is it saying there? So, yeah, let's see what that is. Main text. Okay, and now we want to come back into here. Load. Use the Django tag to load static. That loads. That kind of provides a, a shortcut for us. Where is that? Yeah. And then we're going to add uh, our style sheet here. We go link 
href equals and then static, uh, not static, it's static, and then link to our our place, which will be example because we, we get that static and so we get that, and so it's going to be CSS index dot CSS. Make sure you put that as a single comma, as a single apostrophe, and then add the static. Finish off, finish off the, and then I don't have to go type rel style sheet. I don't know. It won't work because we haven't added the <laughs> a class. Let's go class here, main text. Thank you for auto complete. Okay, so we've just added this in to main text and Hello Gallery, and then there it is, Hello Galaxy. Let's actually add change that color a little to something nicer to. Uh, Dark Orchard. Yep, there you are. We need to set it up to uh, build the static files for the cell. We'll add update our settings file here using this if OS environment get the cell. So we need to add OS. That will check if we're on an our the cell uh, environment because uh, the cell sets this environment variable. And then you can see the, the text there. Then we're going to turn on white noise, which will compress the static files. And we need to install white noise here. So make sure you go back into your terminal, make sure you've activated your environment, pip install white noise like that. And then make sure you add it back into your update your requirements text. There you go. So you can see white noise is now there in your requirements text. Update this nice little build kind of con a configuration file that Versal has. I'm just going to copy in something that I wrote there and you can see the green highlights the things we've added so we're going to add this build essay so this will use up to a, a, a build static files that we've touched our CSS and anything else in our static folders for the cell and then we're going to put the static files here very simple hopefully and the green shows what I've added compared to the default so now we need to add this build.sh file here build.sh and for this you just want to add in the things that you're going to you want to run at build time and that is going to be i've just copied this in pip install and collect static you do not want to add this yet because we don't have a database you can add a database which i'll do in a later video <laughs> very easy again uh, but currently this would run and say you don't have a database so get rid of that and one extra thing we haven't done so far is we need to add the white noise here to the middle where and you see here we just added this into our make sure to add that comma and so we push up okay and now we've deployed and i think we can see already perfect yeah we've deployed extremely quickly we've got a full production ci setup with django the only drawbacks are that if you have massive Python packages that can cause problems. And if that's the case, you can add background workers, which, yeah, has a different service. So, hope that's useful.